Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, we're doing an AFCON 2023 predictions. I want to know your guys' predictions in the comments below. And we're going to start with Group A games we got here. So Ivory Coast versus Guinea Bissau, of course, the opening game of the AFCON. Ivory Coast have to win this game. It's as simple as that. Anything, fail, anything less than a win is unacceptable. Because for me, Ivory Coast is in danger of not timing this group if they don't win this game. Guinea Bissau, we know what quality they possess. They're a, they're a talented team. They're a young team. They don't really have a lot of experience, though, which is something that is, could be a um, problem for them. I think Ivory Coast is going to win this game. I think they're going to win this game. And I'm going to say they're going to win this game 2 now to kickstart the AFCON. Next up, it is uh, next game we have here. It is I'm going to just do the Group A games and Group B, Group C, Group D. I don't know how the order is like. I'm just going to go with that. That's just the most logical to me. Uh, Nigeria versus Equatorial Guinea. This is going to be a difficult game for Nigeria. We know Nigeria have been underwhelming the last couple of editions of the AFCON. And I think for Nigeria, they have to... They have, if they win this game, I think they're in a great position. If they lose or draw this game, they're in a really bad position. Because then they would have to get something against Nigeria. And that's going to be difficult. And then they have to play in the final match day, Guinea-Bissau. Equatorial Guinea, we know how good they are defensively. They're very well organized. They're very solid. They're very difficult to break down. And I think for Nigeria, this is going to cause them a lot of issues. And I really, I'm, I'm not worried about Nigeria when it comes to scoring goals. I'm just worried about Nigeria is that are they going to, are they going to, how many goals are they going to seed? That's where I'm concerned with. Because we know Nigeria have a lot of talent going forward. It's just the midfield defense is crap. So I'm going to say Nigeria just about scraped through a 2-1 win. But it's going to be very unconvincing. I think they'll just about do the bare minimum. And yeah, Nigeria to do it. So as you can see, this is how group um, A would pan out. So Ivory Coast the top, Nigeria second, Equatorial Equator, Guinea third, Guinea Bissau last after match day one. Moving to group B we have here is Egypt versus Mozambique. I expect Egypt to um, beat Mozambique comfortably. Egypt for me, Mosal is in really good form. And I just think that Egypt is just too good. They have the striker from Nantes, I think. He's also been pretty good. I forgot his name. I'll probably put in the e editing here. He's also been good, so look out for him. And yeah, Egypt's going to win, I think, 3-0. I think they're going to win 3-0 against Mozambique. Next up is Ghana versus Cape Verde. This is going to be a difficult one. This is going to be a difficult one for Ghana. I think Ghana will have the work cut out for them. And we know how good Cape Verde are. Cape Verde are very difficult to break down. So I'm going to say Ghana is going to win this, though. I think they'll uh, barely squeeze through the win, but I'm going to say they win this 1-0. I think it'll be a very un, a very scrappy, maybe even a late goal. We know Ghana loves to score late winners. I wouldn't be surprised to see Ghana score a last minute winner in that game. Group C. Oh, I should put a put calculate here. Oh, it's already calculated. So Egypt first, Ghana second, Cape Verde third, Mozambique last. Group C we got here Senegal versus Gambia. Um, Senegal, of course, defending AFCON champions. There's a lot of pressure and expectation for them to do back to back. Gambia, we know what they did in the last edition. They made it all the way to the quarterfinals. Can they repeat that triumph this year? Uh, that's going to be difficult, man. It's going to be difficult. I think Senegal is going to win this one. Gambia, for me, are way too defensively exposed. I don't really like this Gambia team defensively. Their attack is good, though. So I think it's gonna be, this could be a high-scoring game, but I think Senegal will just about get the job done. I think it's going to be, I'm going to say, uh, a 3-1 win for Senegal. A 3-1 win. I was tempted to go with 2-1, but I feel like Gambia is going to concede a last a late goal. Next up is Cameroon versus Guinea. This is a very difficult one, guys. A very, very interesting one to call, guys. Camera, we know what's going on with them in the locker room. Um, they've had a lot of weird stuff going on. Obviously, Onana, there's obviously that going on. Onana's going to play two matches in a span of 24 hours, which is absolutely blasphemous. It's just so stupid. And I just feel like Camera, for me, there's something wrong with them in the dressing room. And the, I think the preparation for them coming into this AFCON isn't that great. And Guinea, we know how good they are, Gurasi. Now, Gurasi is injured, I believe, at the time of recording this video. I don't know how bad the injury is. Hopefully, he recovers. So, Guinea, Cameroon, man, I don't know. This is a difficult one to call. I'm not, I haven't made my mind completely on this one. But you know what? I'm going to go for a surprise. I'm going to go for an upset, and I think Guinea's going to win this 1-0. I think Guinea will win this 1-0, and I think Cameroon will lose. So, that's my uh, shock prediction there. I think Cameroon will lose. I think Guinea will actually get the 1-0 win. Next up is Group D, guys. We got here's Algeria for second goal. Algeria for me. The team is way too stacked. Angola, I think they're going to make things competitive. They're defensively very difficult to break down, but I think Algeria will just about scrape through. I'm going to say Algeria wins 2-0 against Angola. Next up is Burkina Faso versus Mauritania. Burkina Faso, we know how good they are, the attacking qualities they have and everything. Mauritania, 
we know how defense or we know how good their attack is and even though they're not really that great um on the road in particular i do think martinia have more firepower in their attack compared to angola so for that reason i think breaking a fossil will just will win i'll say i'll say breaking a fossil wins like 3-1 um and martinia gets that goal so this is how the group standings are like the next up is group e we got tunisia versus Nambia. So this is gonna be a difficult one for Indonesia. We know how low scoring this team is. This team doesn't score a lot of goals. They're very conservative, uh, very difficult to break, uh, very pragmatic. And I think Tunisia will just about do the bare minimum to beat Nambia. I think Nambia will not really pose any challenges attacking wise. I think defensively they're gonna be very defensive in game. And Tunisia, I think will about scrape through this one. And I think Tunisia will win this one nil. Next up is Mali versus South Africa, guys. Mali, man, can you please show up in the Afcon? Because Mali, for me, have so much quality in their team. I mean, the amount of talent they have on this team is un is unbelievable. Most national teams could use it, right? It's just that Mali disappoints, man. Mali always disappoints. I mean, I look at the last Afghan in particular. I think they topped the group, if I'm not mistaken. And they lost to Equatorial Guinea. And with all due respect, guys, I know Equatorial is Guinea is good, but come on. Mali should be able to beat Equatorial Guinea. And while I do think South Africa, a lot of people underestimate South Africa this AFCON, I do think South Africa are not as bad as people make them out to be. I think what South Africa is really good going forward is defense. I think the defense is solid. Their attack, I'm very uns not sure of, but I think South Africa can challenge them. This will be a very interesting game. I think it's probably one of the games of the round. I'm going to say this ends in a 1-1 draw. I think it's going to end in a 1-1 draw, and I think they'll actually benefit South Africa more than Mali. But, you know... We'll see, man. We'll see how that pans out. So I think it's going to be a draw. 1-1 one, one draw, in my personal opinion. I think it's the first draw I'm predicting, actually, guys. Um, group F, we got Morocco versus Tanzania, guys. Morocco, man. They should be able to beat Tanzania. They should be able to. I don't... If, if they don't, I would be very surprised. And Naziri, Ziyech. Too much attack. Uh, they, they have too much... The, the attack is just way too much for Tanzania. So I think Morocco's going to win this. I'm going to say they win this 2-0 against Tanzania. Next up, it is DR Congo versus Zambia. DR Congo versus Zambia. This will be a very interesting one. I think this is going to be what a difficult game to call. We know how good DR Congo are defensively. Uh, their attack is not great. Zambia, on the other hand, their attack is pretty good. Uh, defense, I don't think is that great. So I think it's going to be a difficult one to call. And for that reason, I'm going to go for a high-scoring game. I think I'm going to go for a high-scoring game, guys. And I'm going to say this ends in a 2-2 draw. And I think Tanzania, Zambia will be the more... Uh, I think that will be a good point for... DR Congo. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting. So, I want to do some quick channel announcements real quick. So, basically, guys, for this year's AFCON, I'm going to be doing like a match day review video. So, when the when the match when the games are done that day, I'll do a video for it around 10 minutes, then do a Twitter space, uh, probably at around 5:30 p.m. Eastern time. You guys can join that. We'll do it for around an hour and discuss the AFCON games that day. And then, obviously, when the match day is complete, we'll do a YouTube review about it. We'll do a YouTube review about it. Indeed. Okay. So um, that's going to be pretty much that. And then, of course, there'll be links in the description below to join the football predictor. And, of course, let me know your predictions in the comments below. And, of course, I'll share this link as well in the description. So I hope you guys did enjoy uh, this AFCON video. And, yeah, like I said, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, guys, to like and subscribe. Remember, guys, to become a member of the channel. Get access to members, videos, member streams. And, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Mm -hmm.